I was an actor in a theatre group and I was writing all these scripts. I didn't even think I was going to write a book. I was writing a TV series and it almost got made. And then a publisher came along and they heard about the TV series that almost got made and they said, we want a book version of it. So the first thing I did was write the book and this is it. The business of writing is very boring probably for people watching, you know, you could sit here and watch me going ticka 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 for four or five hours and you'd be so bored, you'd, you'd just go away. I decided just to start the book with a bar fight because, you know, bar fights are like, cool. So I, I just put my main character in there and during the bar fight he breaks his finger. I hadn't planned this as part of the book but the whole book starts basically with him punching someone for insulting Jin, he breaks his finger and it affects everything that happens for the entire book. It's the most wonderful tiny little detail that changes his story and history. This is what I love about writing, this is what I always allow is instinct to take over what I'm doing. I have no plan. This is Hive of the Starbees. She's Vaja Dorotima. What I love about her is she was very enterprising. She was a survivor. She was in a very difficult situation, but instead of just being all weak and helpless and waiting for the men to, to rescue her, she just got her butt into gear and kind of took charge of the situation. You know, it was a, it was a very scary environment she was in there. I am making a book, which is different to writing a book. I've already made five of them, and I'm finishing off a series of seven. There'll only be seven. They're all numbered and signed by the author and handmade by the author and so this is what it looks like it's just a great pile of pages that are printed and it ends up looking like this and then i gotta clamp that all together and glue it now this is a secret recipe that my great grandmother handed down to me pva glue plus standard old school glue gum as it's called i've got no idea how this is really done by traditional book binders. The most obvious things are of course that the pages have to be absolutely lined up. Now it's the first time I've done it sideways. Every other time I've done it it's been an absolutely awful thing to try and get uh, settled and get the clamps on. So I'm just going to do it sitting on its side. Now I got the idea just by looking at old books. You start to pull them apart and they always had this fabric binding all back together so it was obvious that you know it had been glued down I don't know how many layers they used or anything like that so I'm just making this up as I go